quick video on my trip at the village for the first time, the Fulani village. And I just had just beyond an amazing time. My son and I learned so much and we're so humbly thankful that we had a chance to go. Hands down, I have to definitely say that the Fulani village people were so loving. They just loved on my son and I, they welcomed us. And I enjoyed seeing the children playing, just being children, the community, the women doing things together, the men doing things together, and then collective as a, a family and a community doing things together. It was just so beautiful. These traditions we lost in slavery, and we need to learn a lot of our cultures and our ways um, our traditions of our ancestors, even if they're not direct ancestors, it's important to learn different cultures and traditions from our people uh, on the continent. And it will change your life, I can guarantee. I can't wait to go back. I miss them dearly. And I just wanted to say that I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you do listen and take heed to what I'm saying. Visit different villages, learn more about our cultures, learn more of our languages, our traditions. Learn, it doesn't matter if you go to Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Gambia, just learn, just learn. I mean, knowledge should be infinite and this helps us to be even more well-rounded. We lost a lot in slavery and we can gain a lot back now. This also taught me how it seems to be when you live off the grid. Um, a lot of the things that they buy, if they don't have it within the village, they go to other villages. If they don't have eggs, they go to another village. And they, buy, they do buy some things outside of the village, but basically they support each other. I mean, that's serious group economics. That's something that our people in America need to learn and do with actions, group economics. This will change a lot as far as our people and the financial state that we're in now, supporting each other, supporting, these are businesses, they're entrepreneurs. If one person has eggs and another person has bread, and they can exchange it and they pay each other. That's what a lot of cultures do. They circle their money around several times within their own communities before they go out. And this is not something fake, this is true. There are many different groups of people that do that before they spend their money outside of their own communities, their own people. They circulate it several times before they go outside. We must do this in order to put our people on a better standing, a greater standing foot as far as finances and supporting each other. We must put our differences aside and just do what's better for our people. We don't have to like everything that each other does, but we have a common goal. Every group of people does it. And we have lost it and we have to gain it back in order for our people to take the rightful place on this planet. We must do that. Put the differences aside, come together for the greater good of our people and our children. Over the years, we have time to learn a lot. We had time to share a lot with our children, with our families. Knowledge, like I said before, is infinite. But this shift that's happening now, it's not about lip service. People, we cannot continue to talk about the problems and not 
come together and come up with solutions. 2021 and the years to come, this shift, it's all about actions. Lip service is not enough anymore. It's not. If you're not aligning your words with your actions, I'm not even giving you the time of day. And the reason why is because it's just talk. We've had so many dialects. We've had so many conversations. We keep going it over it. We have round tables after round tables. We have complaining, complaining, complaining. Okay, well, doing the same thing over and over again is complete insanity. We keep talking about the problems. We have these discussions, but solutions are not manifesting. What's the point if we keep talking and we won't be the change that needs to be done? We have to learn from our experiences, including our mistakes, and make things better, make things greater. We came from too. greatness. We are such a loving and trusting people. And I can't wait to come back. Don't you think it's time that we start loving on our own people? Elevating our own people? Learning so For much. our future generations? About the I will continue to speak life into my people so that my people wedding. will rise. <laughs> I feel like it's a broken amazing. record sometimes, but... Mm -hmm. Energy feeds and energy, so and that's why I, that's why I fuel it God, with yeah. these <laughs> affirmations that my people will take their rightful place, that we will be healed, and we will come together collectively for the greater rent of our people, for our children, for the future generations. My people, stop being so easily distracted and basing everything on fear. There's a reason why they want us not to be united. It's because they know who you are. You just have to awaken and know who you are. Remember who you are. Humanity is important. And one of the most humane things that you can do is to empower, inspire, and correct the things that have done to a group of people that have been traumatized and are still being traumatized, misused, and considered inferior to others. Once you start gaining knowledge of who you came from and who you really are, you'll stand differently, you'll walk differently, you'll do things differently. Gain knowledge of self. You are not destined to just pay bills and be a slave to these jobs. And when you get older, you look back and you have nothing to show. You have done nothing to stand on your purpose. Everyone has a purpose in life. We're so easily distracted and we lose focus. In the midst of chaos, find peace and center yourself. We've also been seriously lied to as far as what wealth really is. It's not keeping up with the Joneses. It's not going into debt for materialistic things. You can show wealth by your health, being great, exercising. Your health is your wealth, having land, having your own businesses, and having something that could be passed down generationally. Keeping up with the Joneses and going into debt with luxury cars and homes that are so small and you pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars and you don't even have any land where you could do anything, that's not wealth. It's just a means of keeping you in debt and creating an illusion that you're wealthy, you know, uh, buying all of the name brand clothes and things of that nature. One thing I love about the continent is that I create my own clothes. I have my own shoes made that fits my feet perfectly. Clothes that fit me perfectly and they are done exactly how I want it to be.